with the beautiful white snow on the ground covering my garden it still is that time of year to decorate for spring so let's start our morning off with making some banana bread I gathered all of my decor for the most part and laid it out so I could have a visual of what I wanted to do and I like to keep things very simple. Um, as you could tell with it being winter outside, I do not have real flowers that I can cut and bring in. So faux flowers it is, but it was beautiful and a little chilly so it was time to open the window today to get some of that spring air coming in. And then it is time to get started on my decorating. I wanted to use some of my faux flowers I'd had for quite some time and fit them into some of my glass canisters and things I've just had around. And then I even cut some fresh twigs from out on our trees that I had outside to add some texture and just sprucing up those faux plants by spreading them out really makes them look a lot more real and cutting the stems to the length of your vase or jar makes it look definitely more real and then it is time to decorate my three hanging shelves that I've had for so many years and of course they were thrifted so if you don't know I am an avid thrifter I love getting things secondhand, and they were $2 score at a garage sale. But I just like rearranging these shelves for the season. Now, I want to mention this is a collab with Miranda Christine. She is doing some spring decorating today as well. So if you have not seen her channel, she is just a beautiful spirit she has so much inspiration in her youtube videos and she'll be sharing a video for you as well and if you're new from her channel so glad you are here i'm davy and welcome i do videos such as these homemaking motherhood and simple living so definitely join my community here if you enjoy miranda's type of videos too decorating my piano area and the three hanging shelves it's time to move to another vignette in my home which is this corner and I love decorating with antique books vintage books I found secondhand along with some of my false graphs some of my ironstone you'll see that all throughout my home decor and so I just try to rearrange things a little bit to see what I like and keeping it very simple I don't add a lot to my home because I want to just keep it a little more minimal in my home decor and so just using pieces I've found and these roses that you'll see me use here are a dollar for a bag of like 15 that I found at a local store called The Bins. So it was a fun find to have, especially for knowing I would be decorating for the spring season. I can't go without making my latte for the day and why not do that on a day when it's a little chilly out, it's snowy, and I'm decorating my home for spring. Again, using books as height and texture to little tables, little vignettes. These tulips are amazing from Amazon. I'll link them in the description box for you. They look so real. 
um, and I just love it in my false craft picture there. And just putting a few new pillows on the furniture, fluffing up the blankets a little bit, and this may not be the final spring decorating for me. I will definitely add and change things up in the next couple weeks too, so you will not get to see the final touches. You'll have to wait for my spring home tour for that. Ah, my built-ins, a wonderful place to decorate every season. So those antlers were ones that my husband had used or gotten when he shot a deer, but I wanted to rearrange. They were not very secure sitting up there well. So again, another bunch of these faux tulips in a very old crock that is beautiful and rustic and chippy, and I really love it. So just decorating my shelves here with some stems and just experimenting with what I think will go well in this area. important to find pieces that you love to decorate your home with for every season and it can be simple it can be a lot it can be whatever you want it to be for your home but like I said I really like it simple and just adding again some flowers some roses some eucalyptus just making it very simple but adding some texture and some life with these faux plants <music> So here's to decorating for spring and enjoying the change of the season. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I decorated my home a little bit today for you and definitely check out Miranda's channel as she will be decorating her home for spring as well. Love you guys and talk with you in the next one.